Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. We're very happy to have you back with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. You know, I just wanted to tell you how great a job that you're doing on Explore Tulsa. You know, this week we're celebrating National Employee Appreciation Day. Wait a minute, so you're like saying you're the boss of me? Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious I'm running the show here. I think it's pretty obvious that you need a reality check. We are a team here. It takes a team to make a successful venture. Just ask Frank and Vicki Arnold as they celebrate 30 years of running Arnold's old-fashioned hamburgers as a team. We've got, the, we got the 50s the music and, and uh, the neon and, and uh, of course on top of our sign up there it's got the, the, big, got the big A. You saw that on the top of the Arnold's uh, drive-in uh, on Happy Day. So, so it's got that, that theme that runs through it. Oh, well, I want to tell this story. Okay. <laughs> well, we was having a hard time. We thought of Frankenburger. Uh, what was the other one? Well, because I, I was in the Coney business, yeah. We, we we thought uh, Frank and Frank and Burger, and burger yeah. hot dogs and, and yeah, burgers. get it, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> but then, and then we just couldn't seem to settle on on something. And so um, I, I remember us driving down I forty four, and I thought, oh my goodness, we're overlooking the obvious. I mean, our name is Arnold, and at that time, you know, um, happy, days. happy days was pretty big, and so. Uh, we just, up, there it is, Arnold's. Well, Vicki thinks I'm the Fonz anyway, so <laughs> okay. there you go. Well, keep thinking that. <laughs> Before Arnold's, I uh, actually worked in the restaurant business. Go back to my high school days, I actually went to school right here, not very far from here, Webster High School. And while I was at Webster High School, I worked at Carl's Coney Island, Crystal City. And I worked there for five years. Then at 21, I bought a Carl's Coney Island out toward Catoosa, owned it for five years, got out of the food business for two, got back into this. We opened this up in uh, 86. 1986, February the 28th to be exact, 1986. We wasn't really planning on opening until the next day. Got over here, the, the workers got all done, the city had approved everything, and so we just said, let's just open the doors. Yeah. So we kicked the key, we unlocked it, and I mean, people just started driving in, and it was like, we, we ran from uh, 500, uh, from uh, five o'clock to nine o'clock, 500, six, $600? Yeah, and, and that, and, that was... Oh my goodness, that was that more was, than we ran in a day. And just by unlocking the door. Yeah, and so at, no advertising, and we didn't even know we was going to be open that evening. So, at the so, Coney but, Island, but we wouldn't run that all from there, From there on, it just took off. And and so here we are 30 years later, and and uh, we serve a lot of people every day. And quality is, is what my main ingredient is. Well, we can't, I can't tell you the secret recipe, but we use the highest quality ground beef. And it's ground fresh every morning right here locally at the largest meat company and processor in Tulsa. And they deliver it on a daily basis. And, and yes, as a matter of fact, I spoke to that owner today and we discussed that. He said, now, we've got another product that other restaurants are using that's cheaper and you could save a few cents there. I said, no, I said, I, I want the very best. They call it the Cadillac of ground beef. And that's what we serve. Our friend Carl Kennedy uh, owns Carl's Coney Island. He, he's the one that gave me my first job. And, and I just kind of watched how he took your customers and talked to them and treated them. They, they were just like friends coming in. And so I, I learned from that. And then, then just by watching, I'm a, I'm a, some, I'm a quiet guy. I have, you can tell why. <laughs> she does all the talking for us most of the time. But, uh, but so I, I like to observe and just watch people. And I go to, when I go to restaurants, I'm always watching how people respond and how people, how the service is. And so I've just taken little bits and pieces from my background and going other places. And that's how I've tried to fashion our, our business and take care of our customers. I tell my employees, Every customer you're waiting on at that moment is the most important customer we have that day. Yeah. The next one, that's the most important person. Mm -hmm. So we, if we do that, one at a time, we build a business. It's kind of ironic. When I was a kid, you could not fill me up on hamburgers. And had I known I was going to grow up marrying me a hamburger man, I would have been in hog heaven my whole childhood. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. This is why he's quiet. <laughs> And we have second generation people that have come, that their parents brought them in when they were little kids. And now we've got them right coming in with their little kids. And it's just, it's neat to see customers, you know, go from generation to generation. 